15 signs you're more than friends with benefits and getting attached. Don't expect anything more than sex from an FWB relationship. But if you exhibit signs you're more than friends with benefits, take it to the next level. You're not supposed to think of a future together in a friends with benefits relationship. You're only supposed to think about sex and fun. No dating or catching feelings, it is purely casual. Well, even though we all say this and try to follow these rules, most of us end up breaking them. Are you showing signs you're more than friends with benefits? Some people aren't cut out for an FWB relationship you end up falling for the person and thinking about what it would be like to date them. Trust me, I've been there. I can't do friends with benefits relationships. I always get emotionally attached. Which, of course, leaves me heartbroken. Anyways, if you're like me, it's hard to not get emotionally attached to someone you're sleeping with. Read. Does being friends with benefits really work out? Signs you're more than friends with benefits. Not in all friends with benefits relationships, but with some, there's this point where you're thinking maybe this casual hookup can turn into something more. The relationship isn't sticking to a casual path and deeper feelings are developing. Okay, in simple terms, you like the person and you think they like you. It's the classic recipe for a relationship, don't you think? If you're thinking there's more to the relationship than just casual sex, put the pieces of the puzzle together. Sometimes, friends with benefits isn't enough. Number one you feel it. I can't describe the feeling and neither can you, but you just know this isn't casual. You have this gut feeling that there are mutual feelings floating around, and this is easily one of the first signs you're more than friends with benefits. If you feel it, you're probably right. This doesn't mean they're going to want something serious with you, but it does confirm that what you were feeling was right. They like you. Number two you're all over each other. When you're around them, you both can't get enough of each other. Now, usually in a friends with benefits relationship, there's chemistry but not to the point where your faces are together more than they are apart. If there's that much chemistry, maybe you should take a closer look into it. Number three you both know about each other's dating past. What's an important rule of friends with benefits relationships? Not to talk about yourself too much. You don't want to develop an emotional connection. If you start getting to know more about each other's dating history, you will probably skip this rule. This is much deeper than a casual relationship. Number four you spend your free time together. Both you and your partner's free time is valuable. You don't want to waste your free time with someone you don't enjoy being around. Though you seem to be spending your free time together and enjoying it. If this is happening, how can this only be a casual fling? Number five you have those moments. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. The moments where it's quiet and you're staring into each other's eyes, both wanting to say something. I've seen the movies, I know how it's done. Those silences are filled with hidden emotion waiting to spill out. Number six you travel together. Okay, if you're still telling me this is a casual relationship, you're crazy. You're traveling together. No friends with benefits do that. If you're traveling around the world and hook up with each other, then you need to ask yourself if this isn't a relationship. And if it's not, why not? Number seven you miss each other when apart. When you don't see each other, you feel like something is missing. If that's what is happening, check yourself. Are you sure this is just casual? It's starting to sound like there are some underlying emotions. Number eight sex isn't always on the menu. Ah. So you're friends with benefits but don't always have sex when you hang out? Did you follow any of the rules I laid out in my article? If you're hanging out and not having sex, you have feelings for each other. Or you're lonely. All the same, I think it's the first reason. Number nine you have each other's back. Friends with benefits is based on having sex with people you feel comfortable with. That's all good and dandy, but usually, you don't do favors for each other, etc. With your friend with benefits, you help each other out throughout the day and support each other. Kind of sounds like a relationship, right? Number 10 You stopped sleeping with other people. You may have had a couple of people you switched between, but you stopped sleeping with other people. Why is that? Think about it, you know the answer. Are you showing signs you're more than friends with benefits? Maybe you and your partner need to sit down and have the ol', so, maybe, we should date?
Conversation.